Hi everybody. Um, today we're going to do another song review. This is uh, one of my, this is probably my favorite track from Dennis Wilson's Dennis Wilson and the Beach Boys only solo record, um, only completed solo record, 1977's Pacific Ocean Blue. This is probably my favorite track from that record, a song called River Song. The one of the first times that I think I heard uh, this song, I think was on the um, was on the Beach Boys documentary American Band. I think they touched on um, Pacific Ocean Blue a bit in May of, or no, it was actually on the Beach Boys um, documentary Endless Harmony. Uh, they they played a snippet <coughs> of this song, and um, I have always been kind of a D Dennis Wilson fan anyway, of um, going all the way back to, of course, Forever, and my absolute favorite song from, I believe, um, the Sunflower period, Barbara. Uh, written for his uh, wife Barbara Chan and um, but um, but the, fir the first time I heard uh, River Song I fell in love with it. the production on this song reminds me heavily of the uh, of uh, Brian Wilson's productions, as a matter of fact, I think it is well known that, uh, Den that Dennis was influenced by Brian's production style. As a matter of fact, he was so influenced that on uh, Pacific Ocean Blue, he had Hal Blaine the um, one of the greatest drummers in the history of music play uh, most of most if not all uh, the drum tracks and um, but I thought the uh, touch uh, of a gospel choir on River Song was a was a um, fantastic one because it because it added greatly to the power of the song and um, my only regret is that I do not have a copy of, um, of Pacific Ocean Blue I haven't picked it up yet but I have heard the record in it. Um, but and uh, when I was when I was preparing for the interview, I was reading a little bit about River Song, and um, it goes all the way back to like the Beach Boy the, the Beach Boy uh, time period. Um, as a matter of fact, they. Uh, Dennis did it live a time or two with the Beach Boys, which I would love to hear, but I don't think any recordings of any shows survive with River Song on the set list. Um, but to <coughs> reiterate a story that I told the other night on um, in our in our remembrance of Billy Hinchy, uh, when Billy did his live from uh, Billy's Place episode on Dennis, I had I called or I sent in a request for him to play River Song, and he did it. 
and so I just, like I said, it has always been my favorite, uh, one of my favorite Dennis Wilson solo songs. And, um, um, and it's just a shame that he, that Dennis, died before we could, you know, we could hear any more of what he did or would do. And, um, and, uh, we are not going to do a album review for Pacific Ocean Blue. So let me, um, let me give you a little bit of, um, of, a, a brief history of Pacific Ocean Blue. Um, like I said, it was, it, it is, um, it is Dennis, Dennis's only solo album that was released. There is, um, when, when Pacific Ocean Blue was released on CD, there was a companion, or I'm not sure, I don't remember if it was a companion disc, or uh, both of the records were released on one CD, but I think it was a companion disc. There was a second solo album that was never released. Uh, of course, we have it now called Bamboo uh, that never saw, that never came to fruition. And um, uh, one thing is that I've heard some of the Bamboo recordings and Dennis's voice is kind of is really is um kind of rough and ragged and of course he's always kind of had a rough and ragged voice but it's but it was even more rough and ragged on these um but and he had some of uh the beach boy he had uh uh, some of the Beach Boys play on uh, Pacific Ocean Blue. Carl, Carl did some, Carl Wilson, his brother, did some harmonies and he had a few of the Beach Boy uh, touring, touring band members play like um, Ed Carter and um, you know I think Bobby Frigo did some drum tracks and but anyway like I said I really really this is like really my favorite one of my favorite Dennis Wilson songs and I hope you enjoy it and I give it five stars. <laughs> 